Yo, what is good with y'all? It's your boy KAG, and today we're going to be talking about the Nintendo NX as well as a statement put out by Ubisoft yesterday that has some Nintendo fans all upset and bent out of shape for no reason at all, and I have no idea why they're all upset. It seems to me that a lot of Nintendo fans are getting a little pessimistic, a little worrisome, you know, you know, a little sensitive, you know. But anyways, let's go ahead and let's read this statement. Now, before I read this statement, I do want to let y'all know that, of course, Ubisoft announced in the beginning of the conference that Just Dance 2017 is actually coming to the Nintendo NX next year. But let's go ahead and let's hop into this statement that they put out later that day. So it says, We have always appreciated the relationship with Nintendo, the co-creation, and the fact that they are really concentrating on quality. They have fantastic brands, and they are addressing the family market in a very different way, their own way, which we appreciate. We have done a lot of products and successes with Nintendo in the past, and we believe that the NX will recapture a lot of lapsed Wii players. So we will see when they release it, but we are confident. Now, there's a couple things to take out of this statement. The fact that they are confident that the NX will be a success and that they are confident that the NX will recapture that audience again or some of that audience again. But what people are finding and getting upset about regarding like the whole statement is the fact that they said recapture a lot of lapsed Wii players. So, you know, that regards, you know, the casuals, that family market, all of that. And now, people want to get all upset and bent out of shape after they just had a great viewing and gameplay of The Legend of Zelda. And now they're like, oh, now the N Nintendo NX is going to be a failure. It's going to flop. It's not going to sell well. You know, it's going to be another one of them weak consoles. It's going to be a Wii 3. All this nonsense. That is completely uncalled for. Y'all don't even know what the NX is. So why y'all over here getting all bent out of shape over one statement? And on top of that, y'all are reading the statement incorrectly. They saying that the NX will recapture a lot of those Wii players. Now, the Wii players was pretty much everybody. Everybody was playing the Wii at the time. So for them to recapture that huge audience which sold 100 million units, you know, that should be a good thing. What are y'all complaining for? But the thing that they're thinking is that maybe Nintendo's gonna bring some type of crazy gimmick with some type of motion controls or it'll be, you know, another Wii 3 and all of that stuff. But that's not necessarily the case. Because, as you all know, Nintendo and Mr. Iwata made a statement that he liked the iOS system. And as we all know, the iOS system is pretty much an operating system that is on multiple devices that all can interact with each other, but can all still play the same apps and same games. So imagine Nintendo creating a game system or, a, a, or a, a several consoles or several devices that can play, you know, all the same games. So let's say you can play your Super Mario Galaxy 3 on the go or your Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on the go, but you can also play it at home, you know. So all these games that Nintendo puts out will be on one platform that can actually trickle to everybody. But you're able to choose the device that you want to play with. So for example, if you're more of a console gamer, you can get a console type device to play these games. If you're more of a handheld gamer and you like to play games on the go, you can get that type of device and play these games on the go. It's not, you know, vice versa. You know, you're not limited to one main device. You have one operating system that can cater to multiple devices. So for example, if somebody wanted a device like a tablet, but you can still play those same games on a tablet form of Nintendo device. Or if somebody wanted a handheld form, they can play those types. You know, it's all about the actual controls 
and then bringing all those games over to one operating system. And that way it allows them to bring in way more of those casuals that are out there because they already play, you know, these handheld devices and, and on their phones and on their tablets and other devices like that. But anyways, that's all I had to say on the statement. Y'all, come on now. Quit being so sensitive. You know, y'all don't even know what the NX is. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button, and as always, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel. We talk about all things Nintendo here, and you know, it's pretty sad that a lot of people are doing these podcasts and these videos, getting all upset over a statement. But anyways, it's your boy K.A.G., and I'm out of here. Peace.